What up, big kids? Here's the McFarlane Toys uh, San Diego Comic Con 2015 display. We're going to start with their new Game of Thrones building sets. This is really awesome now that we got the wall. You know nothing, Jon Snow, except how to build a wall, apparently. So, yeah, we got the Night's Watch in here, a valley, and then so it's like giants. And, uh, yeah, you can see that uh, they're going to have a bunch of different sets that attack on the walls, one of them. So, very cool. We got the White Walkers right there. Oh man, it just looks so cool. I mean, for people that love Game of Thrones and want something to display like full dioramas that aren't like too big, well, we'll get to how big they are in a second, but yeah, like this is really great. And then here we got another one. This is with Daenerys and uh, her dragons, like Drago and um, Dragon. Um, and then, yeah, this is the Mother of Dragons. So this one is a smaller, so it's only 20 bucks. Uh, yeah, and then the Iron Throne Room, which will be 30 but, uh, yeah, so th that one, uh, will have Joffrey, oh gosh, I don't know what people will want in with Joffrey, um, uh, if anyone, I would rather have, um, Joffrey's brother in House Tigerian, and, yeah, you can see all the different, um, um, people you can get, like House Lannister, so, uh, House Stark, so it's really cool, they have all the different battle flags, and, um, yeah, and, uh, all the different, like, uh, army, the soldiers and um, to go along with them, some different dragons. So they're really, uh, even though these little mini figures uh, don't have any articulation, you can really build some really cool sets like like this right here with them solely, all oh, looking so awesome. Really nice paintwork and detail on McFarlane's. I know they're doing well with their uh, Walking Dead ones, which we'll show here in a little bit. But yeah, it's really cool that Game of Thrones uh, is getting sets, especially since it has some very iconic uh, set pieces and. Yeah, so very cool to build your Game of Thrones set. But yeah, look at, that's uh, the Mother of Dragons one. Look at the Iron Throne set. Wow, I don't know if you can get this complete set, if it's just going to be just the Iron Throne and you can build onto it to like um, King's Landing, you know, set. Uh, but wow, look at that. That's It's pretty wide too. It's a pretty big set. And yeah, you can all, all that, you have Tyrion right there and Joffrey and... Yeah, you can recreate the scene when Joffrey's poisoned, so that'd be awesome. Uh, spoiler alert, but, you know, that happened, like, what, now, two years ago now? A year or two, year and a half ago, so whatever. Um, yeah, so uh, really good detail on that. I hope that it'd be cool if you can get that complete set. It will take up some space, but, yeah, it's a really, really nice set. So if they're doing the full, you know, set. And then now going to wa Walking Dead figures first, so we got some comic figures like Abraham and Carl! Yeah, Carl with his eye. And uh, I believe this is uh, Negan. Uh, no, wait, uh, no, no, this is, uh, yeah, wait, trying to think which one this was. So I remember how they looked in. And then this is some Assassin's Creed characters from uh, Assassin's Creed. Um, uh, uh, which one is this? Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Like uh, the new one, uh, Syndicate or whatever. <laughs> and then here's the Walking Dead 10 inch figures. We got Daryl. This is the bloody version. So this one came out. They did a regular, more cleaner version, if you could call it clean, uh, you know, a while ago. Then they got the Rick when they were in change of arms, so you can play this gun behind his head or have him pointing out his revolver. And then they got a Michonne um, with her katana looking very badass. Yeah, the you know, these, they're more of statues than figures, but it's cool nonetheless. And then we have a new Daryl uh, with a bunch of walker guts and, yeah, heads and, yeah, this is uh, from the season four Blu-ray. Yeah, so the the mossy tree walker that we saw here. So that was really cool. I didn't pick it up. I I just uh, it, it's hard to have the, the, so much space for all these Blu-ray sets. But um, yeah, and then we got some Spawn statues, medieval Spawn, which looks freaking awesome. I think that's just so cool. The Spawn Knight Rises, <laughs> and then um. Yeah, we got another medieval spawn without the mask. Yeah, he looks so demonic, and he has a battle axe. Pretty awesome, you know, got a love spawn. And then some Halo 5 Guardians uh, figures. So we got a bunch of Spartans, uh, different Spartans, you know, they've been doing Halo figures for years. Spartan, what's up? And then uh, this is the Locke. He's the, one of the main, the main bad guy, I guess, in, in Halo Guardians. So we got two different Locke figures, one with... Uh, Helmeted and unhelmeted. Very nice detail, of course. 
you know, like I said, this has been long running with McFarland doing Halo figures. Been doing it since like I don't know, like Halo two or three. Yeah, so anyway, uh yeah, and then the new Master Chief. And then um yeah, going to Walking Dead T V figures. Now we got a new Rick. We have so many different Ricks, oh my gosh, and then we got um Nether Rick. And yeah, we got uh, the first Rick, and then we got Bob with his leg. Oh my god, his leg. Uh, yeah, so I guess you can remove his leg. And so funny, we got Bob. And then, um, well, yeah, we got um, Tyrese, and um, yeah, Tyrese with a removable arm. And yeah, I, I think that's all. I can't believe it. Uh, I'm, I'm so sad about him and stuff. Yeah, so, but very cool. He's got his hammer and everything. It's funny they cut off his arm and it wasn't even worth it, but whatever, I can't believe it. And then we got Carl and the Herschel and um yeah, and then Carol right there. Nice to have uh, like yeah, the zombie or walker, um, camouflage Carol. So cool. And then we got Dale finally. We haven't had Dale before and he was a big character in the first couple seasons, so very really nice and the new uh, Michonne. Dale even gets his little lawn chair, which is cool. And then we got, uh, um, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm having a brain fart, uh, yeah, uh, Eugene, sorry, <laughs> yeah, and Morgan, uh, yeah, we, it's cool that we're getting Morgan, he's gonna be a bit, he's a big character and really awesome to see in this upcoming season six, so yeah, Morgan, very cool, and yeah, so, and then we got some sports figures, Tim Duncan, uh, well, they're not really figures, they're more like statues, but yeah, and then we got, a new uh, Walking Dead statue they're doing. This is a Negan statue, so oh man, because he's a big character, and if we, will, if we see him on the show, it's not good news for certain characters. And then here's the Spartan Lock, another statue that they're doing. Yeah, so very awesome. You know, McFarlane always does an amazing job with their statues, and Walgreens exclusive Daryl with a shovel. Yeah, and his uh, bandana. So yeah, a lot of Walgreens exclusives, and um, now here we got The Walking Dead sets that we're getting. Uh, we got the prison set. Uh, these are a lot of different ones here. We got the prison cell, so this is, you know, the inside of the prison, so very cool. Some really amazing detail right there. Looks so freaking awesome. Yeah, I mean, wow. You could really build some really great dioramas. Like say, so even though they're technically building sets, they're just like really nice little dioramas that you can make for your, um, for whether it's Walking Dead or Game of Thrones fans. So it's really cool. Um, and they are uh, compatible with other building sets apparently, like Legos. Yeah, but this is new. No, <laughs> this is not your daddy's Legos, oh my god. This is uh, very gruesome Legos, very, uh, yeah. And then here's like a giant prison set they did. Yeah, like I say, you get all these different walkers, and you got the little spikes right there for the walkers that they get caught on. So, yeah, I mean, it'd be, I've been thinking about getting these sets, but once I organize my place, and maybe I'll find some room, because I'd rather, like say, have these than probably, like, the actual figures, because then it's just nice, cool dioramas, and, yeah, the prison set just looks so freaking awesome. Yeah, and, and they had the hashtag, oh, McFarlane builds SDC. Yeah, looking so cool. And then there's Daryl on his motorcycle running over a walker. I thought that was really cool. There's just so many little things right here. So I don't know about the whole grass thing. It'd be cool if this grass is part of this. And I, I don't know for sure, but I know that the prison walls and the tower is part of the current sets. And as well as like all the little mini figures. But yeah, if they could do like the grass and everything, that'd be really cool. You know, have the prison set. And, you know, I know they have the governor's, you know, you know, lair, and, or, like, they have, and then they have a new RV set with Dale, uh, so that, that's a cool new set that's coming out. In fact, I think my buddy Sharmus Prime just reviewed it, so check it out on his channel. It's a very cool, and, yeah, you can see the governor right there, so very awesome. It's cool to see Dale. Yeah, very nice little set. It was actually signed by Tom McFarlane. I think they're, they were giving that away some what do you think think of all the Game of Thrones, Walking Dead figures and plates of it? It's the Halo 5 figures, the Spawn, 
Let me know in the comments below for the full uh, San Diego Comic Con coverage. Check out my website, SeanLinksLong.com. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Links are in the description. I'm Sean Long, and remember to live long and love life. Holy crap. Oh, man. We are the walking dead. You have the power to wipe out the human race, and I have to destroy you. Oh, I see you guys are also doing a superhero against superhero movie. Well, 2016 is gonna be the language. Anyway